Hello, this is Fairclear Talk. Welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you how to get uh, the underappreciated RTS game Star Trek New Worlds on Windows 10. Um, that game has been very difficult, almost impossible to run on, on Windows for a long time now. To be specific, it hasn't really worked since Windows XP. But uh, fortunately, there is a way now to get it to work. You need a DirectX to OpenGL wrapper called WineD3D. And um, once you downloaded the latest version, all you need are the two files WineD3D.dll and DDraw.dll and simply extract it into into your new world's main directory. And uh, once that is done, you can simply you can simply start Star Trek New Worlds out of the box without any compatibility settings. And um, I'd say let's uh, let's play a bit. Just a warning, I only have the German version, so I hope you don't mind. Please don't mind the activation notice in the lower right corner. I have a legal copy of Windows 10, but uh, I've been having some issues with it. Captain Gibson, heute Morgen tanken das Humor an. So I've decided to skip the intro because uh, I uploaded it on my channel many years ago. Also in also in German. So, um, let's just um, play the final tutorial mission, um, just for for showcase reasons. And um, well, let's see how well it works, how well it looks. Lehrgang 5. Bekämpfung einer gegnerischen Truppe. Ja, yeah, she was just going to explain the mission. Um, never mind that. Let's just play a bit. Um, here you have um, you have a very um, I don't know how to call it in English. Um, up close and personal view of the battlefield. I don't know if any other 3D RTX had it at that time. Um, please let me know if if it is the case. Um, here we have various views using the F keys F1 for free. Okay, this is this is your central building. Um, in essence, more or less the counterpart to the construction yard in Command and Conquer and Doom. I find very neat is uh, how the workpiece uh, plays each uh, polygon of the 3D model. This is pretty much similar on how um, to how um, Star Trek Armada does it. As you can see the textures are a bit blurry. I don't remember if that's if it was already like that 20 years ago or if it's the rapper causing it. So now we can construct some more buildings for example this uh, resource processor and uh, power generator Like in many other RTS games, if when you click on a building to get some, online. get some extra information. Like here, um, 
power crew and officers um, how many work how many work bees are in are available or when you click the arrow here you get uh, upgrade options Energiegenerator fertiggestellt und online That was uh, quite enthusiastic Let's build a man here. Rohstoffanlage online. Um, here on the lower right corner, you have, this is basically your map overview. Rohstoffanlage these, online. These uh, colored grids are resources like dilithium or dilithium, carbonate, um, magnesite, and, and other stuff. Bergbaustation aktiv. Uh, the reason the game bombed is uh, because, um, in essence, it was released in a quite unfinished state. And, um, for example, um, very vital features like uh, proper safe game features missing. And um, I remember on Windows XP it uh, tended to crash from time to time and missions can take take hours. So when you fail a mission or have to leave, um, you have to restart the mission, obviously. Bergbaustation aktiv. Very nice to see the worker bees working. One thing uh, this game doesn't have is uh, infantry. It's uh, vehicles only. But um, in some of the campaign missions you are required to Bergbaustation aktiv. To capture some buildings, um, you can do it with, uh, with a transport. And um, and uh, when the transport has landed next to the building, you can actually see ground troops entering the building, which I think is a pretty neat feature. Um, I must say, the game itself is actually not so bad. So. As you may hear, the music is really fantastic, uh, it has a really gripping storyline, gameplay is quite good, um, the AI isn't quite that perfect. Um, it also has a very quite unique multiplayer feature. Um, in all three campaigns, Federation, Klingons, Romulans, you have uh, many missions in which uh, in which, you, in which you play the same missions on the same map, but you have different goals. So you can play these missions in essence cooperatively. In essence, um, work together for your common goals and then more or less backstep the others to follow your own goals. Um, I recall in... Um, I think I saw some pre-release footage, I think, on the German GameStar magazine, I'm not sure anymore. Um, where it was mentioned that uh, six multiplayer modes were um, actually planned and... Um, and it was also planned to have um, concrete plates be buildable on terrain, which was also cut. And in early builds you could also... Um, 
control starships. In the final version, these uh, starships follow their own their own path and uncontrollable. But when they do appear in mission and they're on your side, it's uh, always a neat um, a neat sight. So let's build a few bees. This obviously is um, is the vehicle construction build. Fahrzeug bereit. If you play command, if you've played Command and Conquer, this is basically the um, counterpart to the War Factory. Fahrzeug bereit. Here we have a Fahrzeug bereit. We have a Scott vehicle. Fahrzeug bereit. An Am Fahrzeug bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. As you can see here, we on we have um, we have a Fahrzeug limit on how bereit. many buildings we can build, but with special buildings we can increase that limit. Which we'll get to later. Fahrzeug bereit. Aufklärer hier. Aufklärung los. Fahrzeug bereit. Personally, one day I'd like to see uh, some sort of open source project or re-implementation project of this game. Similar to OpenRA, FIM uh, and uh, all these kind of projects which are basically new engines which use, which use the original game files and I'd like some I'd like really love to see something similar for Star Trek New Worlds to um, fix all the issues the original has and um, and give that game a second chance. And I also hope one day it will be released und online. will be released on good old games. Speer, ich höre. Aufklärung los. Warnung, Energie der Kolonie unzureichend. Systeme schalten ab. Es werden Energiegeneratoren benötigt. Um, she basically says we said we have insufficient power. So let's build a power plant. With with uh, new buildings and uh, building extensions, you can also get new vehicles and new new buildings to build. But now I can't really show it to you until I actually expanded these buildings. Wissenschaftsstation Systeme online. Okay. Energiegenerator fertiggestellt und online. What I also find pretty neat on um, in this game, it's not really necessary for this tutorial mission, but for some of the campaign missions, that you have some Wissenschaftsstation Systeme online. That you have certain um, specialists, like example, you have um, not here right now, but for example, uh, a science officer which you can put on a scout or a science vehicle to. Um, to do a scan of, let's say, a unit, a special building. Um, some mission goals actually require certain personnel to do certain tasks. And you can even... Um, you can even... Um, I am forgetting the English word for Ausbildung right now. Um, some further edu education for some personnel. But uh, we weren't really needed in this mission. Ah, here we go. Troop transport, a new science, um, science vehicle. We have some new buildings to build. Not yet.
Aufklärer hier. Beginnen neue Suche. Späher, ich höre. Beginnen neue Suche. Ah. Some new resources. Dolomite. Aufklärer hier. Aufklärung los. Okay. And if you could just see you can you can place your buildings pretty much anywhere. Aufklärer hier. Beginnen neue Suche. Here we got the first mining being depleted. So we can simply um, erase it. Yeah, this is what I always really enjoy watching how the building collapses upon itself. Uh, it's a very simplistic way to do this, but uh, effective nonetheless, in my opinion, even today. I also think the graphics are actually pretty good for, for the time this game was released. I think around... I think it must have been the year 2000 when it was released. Probably got to look it up later. Bergbaustation aktiv. You can also see your mission goals. Station bereit. Bauzentrale funktionsfähig. So with the expanded construction center, we have new Construction options as um, Eva would say in Command and Conquer. So why not put them to use? Rohstoffanlage online. Fahrzeug bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. Rohstoffanlage online. Fahrzeug bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. Wissenschaftsstationssysteme online. Fahrzeugzentrale Fahrzeug bereit. bereit. I think to act Fahrzeug bereit. I think to actually have we need to research these phaser coils. Aufbau fertig. Wissenschaftsstationssysteme online. Ah, here we go.
Fahrzeug bereit. Bauzentrale funktionsfähig. Fahrzeug bereit. Sicherheitszentrale einsatzbereit. Rohstoffanlage online. And our first objective is complete. And with that security center over there, we got... Uh, Photon artillery tanks. What it does, it what it does uh, in essence is um, far firing photon torpedoes at, for example, enemy buildings. Pretty much like the like the artillery, as you know, in, in a few RTS games like Command and Conquer. This is so. This is in essence a photon howitzer. Sorry if I haven't pronounced it correctly. And by expanding the um, the sick bay, you can actually um, also increase the build online. You can increase it further with this transporter station. Station bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. Krankenstation bereit. Systeme schalten ab. Es werden Generatoren benötigt. Wissenschaftsstationssysteme online. Ah, vier neue Buildings. Like this advanced power generator. Fahrzeugzentrale Fahrzeug bereit. bereit. Transporterstation bereit. Energiegenerator online. Well, and this is basically an improved artillery. Fahrzeug bereit. I also think that uh, the concept, uh, concept of Star Trek New Worlds is pretty unique um, in the way that, um, that um, we haven't really seen neither on the small nor on the big screen uh, the powers of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants uh, duking it out on the plan 
on a planet surface with 10 Fahrzeug bereit. Well, we did see combat with, uh, I'd say, infantry in, uh, in rapids. Um, in DS9, for example, uh, Siege of RI-558, but it's, uh, as I said, personal only, no tanks. But I think uh, hoppers were mentioned in um, Norway Battle to the Strong. Here we have uh, a photon torpedo turret, um, a shield generator, and I um, think there should be a phaser turret here as well. Probably need to research it somewhere. Yeah, basically um, static defenses are here as well. But for this particular scenario we don't really need it as the as the enemy isn't going to attack. I build the shield generator anyways because I can. Fahrzeug bereit. Bergbaustation online. Hydroponikanlage bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. Here's the phaser turret. It looks like it needed the shield generator as a prerequisite. <coughs> Bereit. Fahrzeug bereit. Mobilphaser. Verstanden. So. Let's say let's attack the Klingons. Send them all to Stovokor. Aufklärer hier. Los. You can also zoom in and out. Fahrzeug 
bereit. Hier on uh, this screen you can um, you can uh, more or less um, form alliances with the other factions. I don't remember if that's actually really necessary in the um, in the single player campaign. It's been a long time since I last played it actually. Das Maskot. Ah, hier das. Fahrzeug bereit. Speer, ich höre. Artillerie. Ja, yeah, as uh, the terrain in this game is um, revealed almost immediately and only has uh, fog of war. And when you see these plates here, you can almost immediately tell where the enemy base is. Or colony, as it's called in this game. Fahrzeug bereit! Here we have some Klingon disruptor tanks. Huh. Kinda neat with this impulse engine. As you can see, the pathfinding with many is perfect. Beginnen ah. neue Suche. Here we have photon torpedoes. Um, I think there's an issue with uh, with one D three D because uh, actually you're supposed to see lens flares on these torpedoes and not just smoke. Artillery. Es geht los. Mobile phaser. Stand. You may recognize the sound effect from uh, from Klingon Academy and Starfleet Command Royal Pirates. One I'm very fond of hearing. Bereit! Let's send him some phases. Yeah, the phaser sound effect from Starfleet Command. I think the phaser type 1 it is. And you could... Aye, aye, and you may also recognize the disruptor sound. Um, I just did this on purpose to showcase the disruptor sound. It's from earlier books of Klingon Academy. You might, you might have heard it in some, some of the trailers. Mit Vergnügen. So, why not getting up close and personal here? I think 
is probably also a little rendering issue with the uh, with the other channels. I don't know if, if if it's original behavior or caused by Wine D3D. Oh so let's finish it. Photonen. Mit Vergnügen. Thank you. So I think that's it for today. Um, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're giving this uh, little gem uh, another chance. Because despite all its issues, it's actually, in my opinion, very fun game. The storyline with the tabula rasa anomalies very engaging, very gripping. Also, I love the atmosphere with the sound effects and the music very much. Um, yeah, really, really still enjoy it. Um, it's a real bummer that. Um, that this game never released received an official patch to fix some of the issues including introducing a proper safe system so i really hope one day um someone takes up the challenge to to start an open source project for this awesome game so thank you very much uh, see you next time bye